Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. So the market continuing on up for the last week. The question is, are we going to continue on with that momentum? What exact level do we need to continue on past to continue on with this momentum? And which indicator will give us confirmation on this continuation in the market? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here. Now, before I jump into this, if you guys do like this video, it does help other you find it and it does help the channel grow. And hit subscribe, hit that bell notification if you want to see my daily updates on potential breakouts throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. Now, jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the SPY, this is the S&P 500. As you guys can see, we have been having our 20 day moving average holding below our 50 for quite a while. We finally do have our 20 day moving average curling up here, giving us an attempt to bounce back over our 50, which in my opinion would give us that bullish momentum for possible swings. A lot of investors would be more interested in swings if we did get our 20 day moving average to cross back over our 50. Again, we have been continuing on with the rally. A little overextended as we do have a decrease in volume as we have been continuing on up. So we do have a 458 level that we are leading in to we did continue on past our 447.50 level that we have been looking to see if we can continue on past going into this week we do want to see if we can get over 458 we don't have any major updates on russia and ukraine which very much does affect the market so if we don't have any major updates between now and tomorrow then we could continue on up test our 458 level and look to see if we can reclaim 458 from there. Now, as far as continuing on with this rally, as you guys can see, we struggled. We got rejected multiple times to the upside here at 447.50. So if we do not hold 447.50 and we do not have our 20 back over our 50, then we could be continuing on down and possibly retesting our 435 level. Again, keeping in mind that we are leading into a double rate hike in May, and we do have Russia and Ukraine news that could escalate at any point in time and has not de-escalated. So technically has been escalating. So therefore, we could see a rejection at any point in time leading into 458, a very key level. But again, if we can get over 458, then we could have a continuation on into our previous doji candle here at 468. And again, looking for that continuation past that doji candle as that was the continuation on down that we had when we had the beginning of our 20 degree average crossing below our 50, giving us that bearish momentum. So if we do continue on past 458 leading into this double rate hike, then a lot of people would turn very bullish. A lot of people would possibly suspect that we already priced in these rate hikes. Now, looking at the MACD here, as you guys can see, we do have this increase in buy pressure. Very nice confirmation into this week as we had our previous buy pressure point that we had from this bounce and continuation on down. And we did have our continuation on buy pressure from that point giving us that strong confirmation on that continuation this last week. So again, looking for that continuation on buy pressure would be very key on the MACD. Now, as you guys can see on the RSI, we are pointing up. We are creating higher highs here on the RSI and we are not overbought. So that does show us that we could still continue. Um, just like we had previously here, we did have this pointing down. We had lower lows and we were not oversold. So we had more room to run to the downside and we did continue on down. So similar to this point where we are not overbought, we are creating higher highs and we are pointing up, showing us that we still could continue to the upside and again, possibly test our 458 level or get rejected just before it. if the market is trying to create lower lows, that is. And again, that 20 to bring average to cross back over the 50 would be a very good indicator on if we were going to get a rejection here or not. In my opinion, again, these intraday perspective breakouts are always there. Go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss a breakout alert today again. And all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel, I appreciate everyone of you guys every single day. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And we will go back at it in pre-market as always. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help with the find it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.